awful thing right now, but I Welcome to vlog number. Uh, welcome to vlog. Welcome to vlog number three. For your shoot? I am. It's so good. Yeah. It's really good. I haven't tried this flavor yet. Hi, Shama. Hi. It's shaping up to be a pretty good day, but today's not really about me. Today is all about supporting Julie and supporting Mathis. Let's go, Jaya. We're late, honey. That's driving. You shouldn't be looking at the camera. Bye, sweetie. Bye. It's kind of a big day, but not because of anything that I'm doing, but because of Julie. Hey, guys. Hey. How, how are, are you? Good. Good. Me too. TJ, nice to meet hey, you. Hey, TJ. How, how you doing? Hey, Christopher. How hey, you doing? Christopher. Nice How's it going? Come on in. Hi. Hi. Have you shot anything yet? Just a little bit. We're just adjusting. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Is this the red? No. I... Oh, what camera is this? Black Magic Black Pocket Cinema. You're gonna leave that here, right? In the of course, oh, yeah. of course. <laughs> Along with the drone. <laughs> How long have you wanted to do this? <laughs> About 15 years. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Finally happening. I got it. We're, yeah, look, you're 10 minutes late. You don't start for an hour. All right, go away. You take this. I'll meet you over there in a minute. Mathis's oh, hockey yeah. game. She's playing goalie today. I love it when she plays goalie. She's really good at it. All right, your arm's gonna go through both of these. Up that through there. Okay. <laughs> I don't want, the key to goalie is not falling asleep, if I told you. Half the time, the goals that are scored are just because the goalies are kind of not paying attention. Talk to your team. Don't be afraid to scream to your team. You're, you're one of our team leaders, so by all means, scream at those people. The goalie is the, is the captain of the team in most cases, so you have to really take control. went really well. We, uh, we had an amazing day and got a lot of amazing stuff, but I think we're gonna need another day of shooting. Really? Yeah, probably. That's and Leia did an amazing job. No, you're a producer. No, she's a director, actually. Director. I don't know what I am. Kind of directing. Yeah. I think it looked really beautiful. I think it was really oh, beautiful. Yeah. She did an amazing job. Yeah. Good game, Memphis. Number 11. Finally, your goal is number 17, Matt. I had all sorts of stuff that I wanted to do today, that I wanted to accomplish, that I sort of needed to accomplish. But if you're lucky, you have people in your life that you get to show up for. 
Not necessarily that you have to show up for, but that you get to show up for. I get to take my kids to school. I get to pick them up from school. I get to take care of Julie and help her out on her yoga video project today, which was super important to her and something that she's been dreaming about and planning for for a very long time. And that, in and of itself, is the gift. But gratitude is not my default setting. Left to my own devices, and if I'm not taking care of myself, I'm irritable, I'm discontent, I'm prickly, I can be difficult to be around. It's a practice, it's an action. But when I am practicing it, when I am consciously taking actions to connect with gratitude, my life isn't just better, it's like way better. And one of the ways that I practice gratitude is to enter into every interaction in my life, whether interpersonal or professional, with an attitude of service. Not what can I get out of this, but how can I contribute? And service is the path outside the self. It's the key that unlocks the prison of the mind. And the truth is, when you're in a place of giving, you will always, always get back tenfold. So the question I wanna leave you guys with is, what are you grateful for? And if you're like me and you do have a difficulty or a challenge in connecting with gratitude, a great practice that I rely on quite regularly is to make a daily habit of creating a gratitude list. When you wake up in the morning, it doesn't have to be the first thing in the morning, but it's best if you do it soon after you wake up, to get out a notepad, a pen and paper, don't do it on your computer, and write down a list, maybe the top five or the top 10 things that you are grateful for. It's such a simple thing, it should only take you like two or three minutes to accomplish. But if you do it and you do it consistently, it will change your life. And that is a promise.